I live and breathe uh, the visual element. You know, it's it's kind of what I do. It's uh, things come to me in a vision. Uh, other people, it's you know, it's more straightforward to me. It's it's colors and shapes and shadows and textures and, and things that light light rakes across. You know, so it's it's I live in an imaginary world where I make other people's visions come to life. I was one of the kids in school that you know had a stack of car magazines, and I would uh, I would sketch cars and I would sketch design and and technology was always cool. Uh, my dad was an engineer, so there was this practical side, but he always liked cameras. So my dad gives me a camera and goes here, you know, have fun with it. I ended up graduating college, and then afterwards, end up taking some uh, just some junior college photo classes. And my instructor said, hey, why don't you go to a photo school? Why don't you know? And I think the photo school is a good way for me to really get intense on, on the technical aspect of photography. One instructor, he goes, hey, hey, Bill, I know you can do the work. I know you can do the assignments. Your work is great. Technically, I know who you are. But he goes, I don't know who Bill Cash is. And, I, and I, that kind of stuck with me. I know he probably said that to all the students. but. You know, it really, and I, at that point, I go, yeah, you know what, I've been thinking my whole life, I'm in my early 20s, I go, I don't even know who I am. So I started to think about it, and I, I thought about my passions, and my passion has always been car design. So I might have won jobs by just, by being just passionate about what I do more than the, you know, saying, well, this is my work, this is, let me show you what I can do, it was more, you know, hey man, this kid's got a lot of heart and soul, let's, let's let him do this. Clients, uh, Volkswagen, GMC, Chevrolet, Hyundai, Kia, Audi, Harley-Davidson, uh, I guess anything automotive. Um, and, that, and that goes to like other manufacturers of automotive parts, pieces, and accessories. Um, American Airlines, we just finished a project with them. And whatever those guys in that car design studio were looking at, I need, to, I need to focus on that and I need to bring that through the lens and, and bring that to the viewer and let them know that's kind of what we're going. Keep unfocused. I think sometimes focused people seem to map something out so perfectly they overlook the magic. So in my life I'm a little unfocused, sometimes a bit scattered, but it, it, it's a way to unlock the magic of, of things that Sometimes people don't get to see. Okay. You know what would be nice to do? We kind of let the, the the magic of what, what sometimes I call the photo gods, you know, come down and, and they sprinkle a little magic dust on you and, and, and you kind of pull out something that everyone said, oh, it can't be done. You know, I think it's it's kind of like mu music. You, you kind of know theory, you kind of know what notes go together, but I don't think it's important to. Once you learn that, I think you just gotta back away and compose. And I think photography is like that. You kind of learn the basics, but then you step away from the norm, and you kind of, you know, you you, you kind of twist it. You know, you kind of put your personality into it, and it kind of makes it kind of mixes it up and, and turns it into something different. I think you just don't want to listen to anybody. You want to feel your heart, and and you want to whatever your vision is, whatever your whatever your crowd, whatever you like to do. Um, I mean, who ever thought, you know, cars, you know, transportation was, was art. And uh, to me, it's, you know, art's just a way of life. <laughs>